effects and I'm doing a little I guess live com I guess you could say with my camera so anyways I'm on my way to the gym so I got this Nike shirt so don't let this kind of bother you too much because it's like neon yellow or some shit and uh, the beard no shave uh, November so I had to jump on board but anyways today's topic guys is really really simple it's a, it's, it's something that I can't stress uh, enough on that a lot of people a lot of guys and even some girls do wrong, and that's the uh, just bothering the fuck out of somebody. Now it's really simple. Now you meet some girl, uh, you're you know you're thinking that it's a home run, it's good shit, you know. Um, it, it it does happen like that in the beginning. Like it's it's weird. Women are weird, and so are guys, of course. Uh, but women are a little bit more different than guys. Um, whenever you meet a girl, the first impression is always like when you meet some girl for the first time in in, in school. And you think she's super hot, and then the next semester you don't think she's as hot as you thought. Uh, it's kind of like that in the beginning. You meet someone in the beginning, and you want to make them get a, a good first impression. So you know, of course, you like her or like him more in the beginning. But the thing is, in order for you to maintain uh, that person from keep on liking, you kind of have to give him or her some space. You can't be behind uh, that person and expect like good results because as soon as you start doing that. The other person is going to get really annoyed. Now, I'm not saying don't go after the person because you, you do have to put some work into it. But don't try to go after this person um, thinking that, you know, by calling this person over and over and over again, you're going to get good results because you won't. Um, it's very simple, in my opinion, just to kind of give this person space. Now, you meet someone, let's just say, today at a, at a prom if you're in high school or middle school. Or, I know it's not prom right now, but let's just say, or a party at a school or a bar or a club if you're over 18 and 21. Uh, it's very simple. You meet the girl, you hit it off, that's good. Don't call her like four days later. Because that used to be the old saying, oh, you call her like five days later. No, that shit has changed. Like the rule of thumb, it's usually around one or two days rule of thumb. Remember, keep that in mind. Uh, but it's a good idea to message her like the day maybe after, just so she could keep like you fresh in mind. And that's really important because um, you kind of want her to remember who you are two or three days from here. Um, so whenever you do call her that one time and she doesn't respond, don't try to convince her to call you back. So don't keep on messaging her over and over and over again. It's not going to be really uh, a good outcome at the end because the girl's going to get fucking annoyed and your true colors to her will be, you know, that this guy's just a fucking psycho or that he's uh, just a bugaboo. And you don't want that. You don't want that reputation. And if you want this girl you, or the guy, of course, if you're a girl, you kind of give, you kind of have to give him a little bit more room. Um, now. If you're if you're thinking that your old tactics of working like uh, you're picking up a girl and you're calling her over and over and over again and you think that shit works, trust me. At the end of the day, it's not gonna work. Maybe 99% of women don't respond to a guy that's bugging her over and over again. Now think about it like this, guys. Whenever a girl that you don't like follows you around school, follows you around work, or follows you any any where you are at, really, doesn't that shit like fucking piss you guys off? Like. It's so annoying where you don't want to even like, you see this girl, you're like, fuck, there she goes again. Now, I'm not saying you guys are as bugaboo or as annoying as that one example I just gave you, but it can, uh, it can like relate to what I'm trying to say. So you meet some girl, I'm, I'm, I'm scratching myself because the window's like right here and it's like bothering me and I just hit the mic. Oops. All right. <laughs> All right. So you meet the girl. This is what you do. You. This is what I do when I meet people. I, t I typically just don't like throw myself at the people, the girl, if I'm trying to like, you know, holler at her. What you do here is very simple. You meet the girl, you talk to her. Usually I like to, it's very simple introductions. You don't need pickup lines. That shit, you, it just doesn't work. Um, usually a simple, hey, my name is, you know, usually kind of breaks the ice that says, you don't have to fucking look at a little book and say, hey, those are the fucking things that I need for me to pick this girl up. It doesn't normally work that way. Uh, the real world is, yeah, cheesy lines sometimes work and they might be cute, but it's always a good idea just to introduce yourself. So you, you introduce yourself to the girl. My name is so-and-so. And then after the conversation, if it goes well, trust me, if you call her right away, it's not going to be a good idea. Wait the next day. Don't bother her too much. Don't give her too much attention because that is going to put you in that other like guy location. It might even put you in the friend zone. That's the last thing you want to be is in the fucking friend zone. Uh, and the, the reason I'm saying that is because 
a lot of guys think that 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 if you give them if you buy them gifts if you already take them out to dinner the next fucking day uh it's usually a better idea just to take them out to something more like as friends um my idea to on a first date wouldn't be like a five-star restaurant that's way too overboard you know take her somewhere s small it doesn't have to be that that expensive just give her that attention but don't give her that so much attention when you're overdosing that shit it's not going to be as special now if if, if the girl ends up liking you it's never a good idea to put all your marbles in the very beginning of the relationship because then later on you're not going to have like a lot of things to give her because you're going to be running out of ideas you're going to be running out of things to do because you did it all already so it's better to kind of savor the moment and just little by little you kind of go up and um you know the girl's gonna probably last longer um, you know, and this is coming from experience. I'm telling you the guys by experience, it's not going to work, uh, for the long run, at least if you just put all your models on at once. Uh, it's kind of like commentating. You can't do all your commentating, you know, all in one time because then you're going to run out of ideas. So you have to kind of, you know, little by little. And that's how the world usually works. Um, so what's the whole point of this commentary with you guys? Uh, it's very simple. I got a lot of emails from a lot of you guys actually that I still having this problem where you guys are asking me. What should I do? Uh, she's not responding to me. Well, unfortunately, you can't make her respond. You can't make her t uh, like you. But uh, my my tip that I'm giving you can work. So it's very simple what I'm telling you when you're meeting these people. Don't just throw yourself at them. If they don't respond the first week, then you give it another week. And, I mean, you can't force it. And don't try to force it because then that makes you look like the... Like, you're like every other guy. And that's not what you are. You're besides every other guy. You kind of want to be somewhat different, out of the ordinary. Because as soon as you become like everyone else, then the girl's not going to really respond to you as much. And your chances of hooking up with that girl are pretty much over with. So, yeah, that's really all I can give you guys. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you can email me personally down in my, uh, not in my junk, even though there's, there's no, in the description below. <laughs> and it goes straight to my iPhone. If you guys have any questions ever, just email me and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button up here and uh and uh i post you on a daily so yeah do me a favor hit that like button and uh subscribe if you haven't until next time this is yours truly mickey ctx and i'm out